Hi, this is Minez Marie, the soldier of Mary. Jacinta of Garabandal has responded to the interview that Mary Kruth gave in the El Mundo newspaper. There's a full-length book interview with Jacinta, which was prompted, it seems, by the El Mundo interview. So the book is out now. It's only in Spanish, but I've bought a copy and I can't wait to get my hands on it. On the amazing Garabandal News website, which is by a great follower of Garabandal, a real expert, a man that is known as Abiso of Garabandal, he's posted up he's posted up a little bit, or one of his uh, one of the people typing on his blog, Juan Herbas, has posted on the eleventh, on the the eighteenth of, of November, a little bit of information about this book which there's this this Catholic, this great Catholic journalist, Jose Maria Zavala, interviewed Jacinta for eight hours, four days in July, one day in September. And he has done that because Mary Gruth, right, it says here on our webpage that we're looking at, Mary Gruth gave this interview in which she said, you don't know if you imagine it or if it really happened. Perhaps we have mentalized it or you know it's something we formed in our minds so mary Cruz gave that interview and so a week later jose maria reaches out to jacinta and says look what do you think of these statements from the girl with whom you shared such extraordinary experiences jacinta replies i didn't know but it doesn't surprise me either i can only assure you as far as i'm concerned that i have not imagined anything at all what I affirm is what really happened. Everything is absolutely true. Now, why did it happen? This, I do not know. But it happened. And it's what really matters. I have everything etched forever in my mind and in my heart. Zabala continues to ask, Why do you think Mary Christ has said this now? And Jacinta responds, She's always maintained that doubt, and I don't really know why. Her mother got very nervous with the apparitions. In my case, I did not have that problem, although my mother did not quite believe in them until the end. My father's constant stance supported me in difficult times. I can only add that I had parents who practiced religion, and maybe Mary Cruyff lacked that spiritual guide. So I'm not going to, I'm going to encourage you to go over to Abiso's website, because it's an excellent website with loads of great articles on Garabandao. Um, and have a look at some of the other extracts from Zavala's books on the chastisement. And in fact, it's interesting that in this book, Jacinta, 72 years old, says that there will be a warning and a miracle. And the chastisement is a conditional chastisement that has not yet happened. So... You know, and that it's hopeful that the chastisement may be avoided. So, Aliso concludes, or the, the author of the article concludes, in this interview, which Jacinta carried out with Jose Maria, comes at a time when we very much need a clear and resounding testimony about what happened in Garbandao 60 years ago, as well as uh, that it was a real manifestation of Our Lady trying to avoid the drift of this generation into the abyss. Without a doubt, the words of Jacinta so well expressed by Zavala's, Zavala in his magnificent book will do a lot of good to many people. I promise you that I will send you a video. I'll put up a video when I have finished reading the book. The book should arrive at my house on Tuesday and I'll get to work reading it. I really can't wait to hear, hear this, uh, hopefully answering some of my questions about Garabandao. And hearing Hasinta's uh, views on the the chronology of Garabandal, what she remembers, what she doesn't remember, some of the things she said in this this short extract is a repetition of the questions that were in the El Mundo article, right? Talking about oh, your mother had had this uh, stomach pain, and is that why you denied the apparitions? And Mary Cruz just says. I don't really remember. I don't really remember if that's why I denied them or that's how she responds in the in the interview. I'm really glad that Jacinta has broken her silence. And I hope that the author 
I don't really know. I've heard good things about this man. Uh, he is a renowned Catholic journalist. Unlike the other two guys, they're obviously good guys. Uh, there's been a lot of work tracking down Mary Cuth, but they weren't from the same stable as this man, who is a, who is a pious Catholic, I understand. I hope, though, that he asked, he asked questions that we really uh, have on our mind, um, things that, that haven't been responded to, like maybe asking him about um, Joey that never recovered his sight, maybe asking her about some of the, some of the curings, some of the locutions of Conchita, some of those things which never came to pass. You know, I hope he's asked about some of those things and, and we can get some clarification on more aspects of the, Gar of the Garabandal. The, the journalists, the authors, the journalists do say in their video, the, the other two guys, David and Christian, they say in their, in, their, in their video, the people that know about the apparitions are the visionaries. There's three of them alive. They're the ones who can tell us what happened. It's great that Jacinta has come forward and is telling us her, her recollections of what happened. What we really need is for Conchita to come forward and answer some of the questions that actually only she can she can respond to. But anyway, we can see here that Mary Cruz's interview with Elmundo has had repercussions, shockwaves already, and we benefited from it in that this book sounds like it's really amazing, and I hope that it will be translated into English soon, and I hope we will all get to enjoy her insights. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.